Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm definitely going old school today. Old school hot water cornbread. And nothing like good hot water cornbread and cabbage. I like eating mine with cabbage. And I'm going to show you a recipe. If you grew up in the country, if you grew up in the South, y'all didn't have a lot of money like us. You had to make cornbread. You didn't have no milk. You didn't have no eggs. All you had is some water, some cornmeal, a little shortening, a bacon grease or whatever. This is what we made, y'all. I grew up on this. This is the main cornbread that we had in our house growing up. So what I'm going to do, let's get started here, y'all. I just make, got some regular cornmeal in there. Some regular the cornmeal, not cornmeal mix. It's regular yellow cornmeal. I got in here some sugar, a little sugar, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's the only flavor you got here, y'all. I'm going to mix that up together. I got my cast iron skillet heating up over here. Now, look, I got some shortening here. This is my, uh, which I love this stuff here, y'all. This is my uh, buttered shortening. I love the buttered shortening. You can use regular shortening, however you want to use it. But I like the buttered uh, flavor shortening. You can use bacon grease. You can use whatever you want, y'all. But I use this. And what I like to do, I'm going to pour this hot water right over this shortening here. It's going to kind of melt that shortening there. And I'll work that shortening in here. It's a little bit of difference than when my mom used to just use regular grease. But I just melt it like this. Pour the hot water right on top of that. And make sure your water is very hot, y'all. And that's going to melt that shortening right there. A little bit more in there, y'all. That's your main focus right now, just to melt the shortening with the hot water. And then we're going to mix the rest together. After we get the shortening mix, then we'll take the rest of the cornmeal, kind of mix it in there together like this. And I'll have the recipe in the description of the video. Now, there's a thin line here, y'all. Like a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> there's a thin line here between too much hot water and not a love hot water. I'm going to show you the difference here. And the butter, you need some fat content in here, y'all. The reason is so you'll be able to pick it up and mold it together into your, you know, your little hot water cornbread patties. I like a little thicker hot water cornbread because some people like them thin. I like mine crispy on the outside and moist in the middle. That's how I like mine. And the way I know it, when I push it to the side, y'all, and it kind of kind of sticks together, and when I know it's kind of ready here. Pick it up here, and I can form it in a patty like this. See that? That's how I know it's ready. So, anyway, yeah, all I do, like my mom used to do, kind of form them in a, in a patty like this. Just like that. See that? Let me see. Make sure I got enough water in here, y'all. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Like I say, y'all, it's a thin line between not enough. And you can kind of tell. You can see them indentions in there. Y'all see them indentions that I had in there? Let me do a little bit more water here, y'all. And people say, why do you use hot water? Hot water is cooking this cornmeal. It's helping you cook, get ahead of the game, cooking the cornmeal. And we'll get another one out here, and I'm going to show you. Because if you don't have enough corn uh, water in it, y'all, if you have too much, it'll be mushy. That's pretty much what I want right here, y'all. Pretty much what I want. And we're going to go over here in the grease. Gonna move y'all over here. See this, y'all? Of course, they don't have to be perfect. Definitely don't have to be perfect. Let me move y'all over here to the grease. About four or five out of here, y'all. Like I say, I like mine to be kind of thick. Throw that in there. 
Get about a half a dozen out of here, y'all. Gotta have that indention in there. To me, that's the key to hot water cornbread, having that indention in there. more here. Can't get about half a dozen out of here. The one in the back needs to be flipped over. I can already can tell. Okay, let's get that back up first one I put in flipped over. There we go. There we go, y'all. Just like grandma used to make, right? Just like grandma and mama used to make. A lot of people try to say, probably tell them, what, what, what in the world are you doing? They don't know the struggle, y'all. A lot of people don't know the struggle we used to have to go through back in the day. Flip that one over. Try to move them around there. Definitely want a good golden brown, golden brown color on them. There we go. Can't go wrong, y'all, with some hot water cornbread. Like I said, a lot of people don't know the struggle here. So we're going to step off, get them all cooked up. We'll be back. We're going to try these out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at this. That's old school right there. Now, I'm going to show you a way my mom, my mom, my dad taught me to eat it, and my dad used to eat it. Now, y'all going to say, this guy is so country, so country. This is what I eat mine with, y'all. Let me show y'all what I eat mine with. This right here. Let's see this here. See that? Now, I keep my cane syrup on the stove. Somebody tell me in the comments why I keep it on the stove on the stove top. My mama used to keep all the cane syrup on the on the on the uh stove top. Tell me why. I want I wanna I'm curious if anybody know why you keep it on the stove top. Some people might not. I keep mine right on top of the stove. I'm usually move it off on the video because people say what is that? Let me show you I want y'all to know why. So I'm gonna pour a little here in the in the uh Pour a little in there right there. I ain't gonna use a lot. Put this right here. Now I can eat it with cabbage. Like I say, eat it with some, give me some cabbage with this. Um, some black eyed peas, some uh, pinto beans, but it's good eating here. Like I say, I like mine crispy on the outside, crispy on the outside. And then it's got moisture in the inside. See how moisture it is in the inside? And like me and my daddy used to do. Get some of that cane syrup, y'all. Oh, I dropped it in there. Oh my God, I dropped it in there. Too bad, I have to eat it. Let me get some of that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely old school. You got more studio in the middle. I'll put you up. We dip it in that cane syrup now. Look at that. That's old school there, y'all. But like I say, you also cook. This is some cabbage. Black eyed peas and cream beef. Put that cream, uh, put some cream pea, put some chow chow on it. Hot water cornbread. Hey, that's all you need. That's all you need, y'all. <laughs> so, I went way country on y'all today. Some people still, mouth is still wide open and wondering what did I just make. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulBook.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. 
Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.